Welcome to Web Handling. My name is Dave Roysom. In this second of a series on baggy webs, we discuss the most common cause of this most common trouble. It is possible to make baggy webs on an extruder, paper machine, or other web maker. However, by far the most common cause is not making a web baggy, but rather making a web that has excessive caliper, gauge, or thickness variation, which stretches the web into bagginess when wound. Very often, it is difficult to see the diameter variation that is the result. Almost always, the thickness variation that caused the problem is below the threshold of ordinary online scanners and lab tests. Thus, we often have to infer the mechanism from the results. The web is flat before winding, but not when unwound. To be certain, you may need to intercept the web prior to hitting the winder. Obviously, we would prefer to be able to measure the problem directly or indirectly. Unfortunately, this is often difficult to do. The threshold of pain could be a gauge variation of 1 to 10 percent, which is extremely difficult to measure on thin webs. The threshold of pain could be a roll diameter difference of 1 to 10 parts per 1,000, yet this is extremely tedious to measure. Even more tedious to measure is the length difference that results, which may be on the order of 2 to 20 parts per 10,000, depending on the modulus of the web and the fussiness of the customer. We discussed the strip test in the last module. Thank you so very much for watching this module in my plant practical series. If you want to learn about a possibly better way to screen for bagginess, see my next module.